guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Touch Base Clockwork Mod Recovery. This is the official version that's developed by Kush. He's the same guy that's developed Clockwork Mod Recovery for multiple devices in the past. Uh, we have seen a version of Touch Recovery for the Galaxy Nexus by Unstable Apps. Uh, it is, however, not the official version, and it's only supported on the Galaxy Nexus device. Uh, this official version by Kush is supported on the Galaxy Nexus for LTE and GSM versions, also on the Nexus S for the GSM version so far. The hope is that he will release it for other devices through ROM Manager so it will be easier to access. Uh, but as long as he keeps updating it and giving us the image to flash, this method of installation will work for you. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is head to droidmoderx.com. And I'll have the link in the description. You'll download either the Galaxy Nexus version for LTE or the GSM Galaxy Nexus or the Nexus S GSM version. Once that's downloaded, uh, you can go to your computer, go to your download folder, wherever it downloads. You're looking for touch-tuna.image. So you want to go ahead and find that in the download folder there. And you're going to want to put that in your SDK tools folder. So you do need to... Of course, be unlocked, rooted, and have the SDK set up on your device, um, on your computer. If you don't have the SDK set up, I do have a video on how to get it set up. So you're going to go to Platform Tools, and you will just drag and drop this Touch Tuna image. So just drag and drop that over. When it's in the folder, you will hold Shift and right click in the space there, and you should be able to open up a command prompt here. So shift and open command window here. So from here you've got a few commands that you'll need to type. Uh, if you go to the link in the description you can just copy and paste from there. Sometimes it's easy to make a little error here when you're typing. Uh, but the first thing you'll type here is ADB devices just to make sure you are connected and have ADB access. If you see anything under, under here as a device and you have your phone connected then you know that you're good to go. So the first thing you want to type here is ADB reboot bootloader make sure you don't have any typing errors hit enter and then your phone should reboot okay so now you're in the bootloader mode and then you're gonna wanna type fast boot flash recovery and then the name of the file now this name may change as he updates this recovery but for now it's touch touch hyphen tuna dot image for the Galaxy Nexus and you'll hit enter and it is now sending the recovery writing the recovery so you now have the touch uh, clockwork recovery installed you can either reboot the phone uh, by just hitting fast boot reboot or you could go ahead and boot into the recovery to check it out fast boot reboot recovery hit enter so that didn't work. Okay, so or I guess we could alternatively just scroll over to recovery and select that. Now it should boot into the touch recovery. And then uh, I can show you guys how to use it real quick. Very simple, very easy to use. Of course, it just turns the menu. See, all the menu uh, things here are now just buttons. So you can hit wipe data and no to go back advanced so you just touch whatever you like or you can scroll up and down like this very easy to use a whole lot easier than a uh, whole lot easier than your volume rocker and of course it doesn't skip through the menu it just uh, does everything a whole lot easier a whole lot easier to use so guys that's how to flash the touch version of clockwork mod recovery by Kush. I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it helped you out if it has, make sure that you thumbs up the video. Also, you can subscribe to the channel uh, for even more tutorials on all your Android devices. Check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E9 of 3. Thanks, guys.